today, but we're starting with easy, easy ways that you can save money. Almost every house has a power strip, but the important thing is that not all power strips are created equal. So joining us to show you how to use them properly and how to save a whole lot of money when it comes to your energy bill. We have Marin Goldstein from the Center for Eco Technology. Good now, to see we're talking power strips today, but the yes. first mistake people make is not using them at all. And it's right. illustrated by a phone charger. People who just plug it into the wall and that's a terrible idea. They leave it in the wall and they plug it in, plug it out, you know, but they just leave it in the outlet even when their phone's not charging. But the, the, because this is a little transformer, this is gonna keep drawing energy whether or not it's transforming it and sending it to your phone or not. So if you plug this in all day, it's always t taking energy, it's always costing you money. So in other words, if I have this in the wall and there's nothing charging on the end, there's still electricity pulsing through everything. Yep. And that costs a whole lot of money. Yep. Vampire load is what we like to call this, or phantom load, either mm -hmm. one. And this can charge upwards of $100 a year, you know, depending on how many of these you actually use. But on average, this can cost you $100 a year. So if people so. don't want to get power strips at all, the worst thing, or, or, like, the easiest thing they could do is just unplug it when they're not charging, keep it on the floor, keep it on the counter. Yep, exactly. The next thing, though, people can get a Take power that, strip. Plug it into the power strip. You can have several power strips and several different things plugged into it. And then as soon as you, uh, you plug your phone into it, and once you take it off, then you use the power. All of them have little power buttons, either on the back or on the front. And this is the important thing, and this is the thing that I'm cursing myself because I forgot to turn mine <laughs> off today. So you don't have to unplug anything from the outlet. You can just click, turn it off. Turn it all off with one click button. And so yep. you could save hundreds of dollars if you just do this simple yep. tweak. Yep, it's a very good thing to do. It saves you a lot of money qu quickly. But there's some new technology out. There's new smart power strips. What are these? Yes, so the smart power strip, there's a couple different examples of them. There's definitely lots of different brands that are out there. Um, but basically what this does, is this is primarily for either your computer or your um, entertainment system, so, so your TV kind of thing. So this isn't for something like this, for your cameras and your phones. No. This is for the big stuff. This is for the big stuff, and this is usually where you have multiple things all plugged in together. Um, you've got maybe a DVD player, you've got speakers, you've got you know your cable box, all those different things that usually you're trying to find how to plug it in because you only have one outlet, right? So you're trying to go to different outlets. Mm -hmm. Instead, you can plug it into a power strip, and then because you can use this new technology of smart power strips, you can actually plug them in and have them all turn off with one click of the button. Which is great. The other gripe though with the old power strips is yeah, you're supposed to turn this off when you're not using it, but if I have my um, the port for my wireless internet, or if I have, uh, you know, the timer on my my DVR or something like that, I don't want it to turn off. Right. So these power strips come with always on plugs. Yes. So you can plug in your cable box or your router that's on 24/7. You don't want to shut that off. You can plug that in here constant. But then everything else, you're really only going to use when your TV's on. Exactly. Right. For example, or your computer's on. So we've got the TV on, mm -hmm. and we've got. Um, the speaker set up to it, we've got the DVD set up to it, and so you put the TV, plug it into the master switch, okay. um, and then all the rest of them you plug into the energy savings outlets, or whatever, however they're necessarily na named on that strip. Now there's also a couple that says always on, that yep. would be for my router and my cable box. Yep. Things exactly. Always constant. need to stay on because like, yep. you hate resetting the timer on those. Right, and also the cable box, you can you, you can potentially you know I think that they tell you you have to leave it on 24/7 or it can mess with your signal or something you don't like want that. that. So you don't ever want to turn that off. You'll be able to turn into 22 News all the time. Exactly. So you keep you keep those in the red. You know, on either one of these, they're red. They're constant. You, then you take the TV or the DVD, put it in, or the TV or the computer, and put that in the master. And then you can see right now that the computer's on. Uh -huh. I mean, the TV, the TV screen is on right now. And so you can also see the that DVD the DVD's button. on and your speakers are on right now. So all that's set. You can be watching a great movie, all of that. Now, all you have to do with a click of a button is you turn it off and all of the things turn off. One, two, three are off. Yep. Which is great because normally you go and you have to shut this off, then this off, then this off. Exactly. So these strips can save you a hundred bucks a year. You say the nicer ones, they're only thirty dollars, so it yep. pays for itself in a couple months. Yep. But if you really want to get into some cold, hard cash savings, energy savings assessment you can get done yes. by MassSave. Yeah, so MassSave does a home energy assessment, no cost to you. 
Um, they come in, they look at your house, they take a look at do um, you have good insulation in your roof or your walls. They look at um, whether or not you have draftiness. Um, that's one of the big places people don't even realize they lose a lot of their energy money um, is going out through just air and draftiness that's being sucked up. So there's a thing called air sealing. Hmm. They come in, seal the, the, in the attic so that the draftiness doesn't keep going up. Um, particularly in our older homes out in this area, we've got a lot of attics yeah. uh, with chimneys and stuff like that that are built with big open spaces around them. Um, and so now that gets sealed up. It helps cut down the draftiness, and you get a lot of savings that way, and a lot for of money free. savings for free. See, this is one of those things that sounds way too good to be true, but it's, <laughs> this one's actually true. It's a free one phone call. People come out, you can save a whole lot of cash. Yep, insulation still costs a little bit. You have to pay. You pay 25 percent, so you just, they save. They pay 75 percent of it exactly. So you, it's a great way, especially as our season's starting to change. You know, winter is coming, and we've got to start thinking about and getting ready for it. People, utility bills are just going to start going up, yeah. and so this is a way to get ready for that and uh, save money. Thank you so much for giving us all these tips, man. You can go to our Thank website you. to learn more. But speaking of the